Welcome back to Napoleonic Total War 3, where we uh, have just sacked Paris, uh, the Austrian army uh, came in, took all the treasures, and then left. Uh, I don't think I can hold Paris, so I might as well. Uh, not not even pretend um let's see so right now i am uh, uh doing some logistical stuff between turns as it were i've uh, uh i have a absolute ton of money to spend fifty five thousand whatever uh and uh, I I don't know what to do with myself. I got so much to spend. All right. Uh huh. Not quite ready to process, but I am curious to see what this guy is going to do, and what this Russian army is going to do. I know. Uh, yeah, this is General A. He and I fought earlier and uh, beat the snot out of his army, but uh, so he, it, it isn't very strong. Uh, it is full, but I don't. I think it's about half strength. It did. It did defeat me. I did defeat one of my armies. Another reason why I don't mind sacking Paris. Uh, that actually killed one of my favorite generals. And wiped out his army completely. Drove them into this river down here, no less. This river right here. And, uh, yeah. Well, I didn't forget that. Austrian, Austrians did not forget. But... I have a lot of money to spend, so let's see if there's anything to spend money on. Or if I'm still behind in research. That's another thing I want to do this turn is see if anybody wants to trade for technology. Any of my buddies. Yes. Again, can I continue to be faced by the with the fact that the Turks have not invaded, and that's a good thing. Uh, uh, it's not a bad idea to build that anyways. Next. Ooh. Another type of ordinance in Vienna. That would be fun. Oh, only have only 48,000 left. Oh, gotta build that. I don't necessarily need to build that in Olmolts. Nothing to build there. Definitely gotta build that. Gotta build that. Gotta have at least rudimentary, rudimentary. Uh, and that would be Paris on fire. Reams. I, I intend on keeping wings now. Uh, I don't know if I need another one of those up there. I generally not going to make a lot more guns. I'm not going to build an Innsbruck because I don't know what the heck is happening there. Same as Munich, really. Venice. I feel confident that I'm keeping Venice. Don't need to build another cannon foundry though. Oh, I'm glad I'm getting all these administrative buildings built. Uh, Prague. Hmm. Okay. 
I guess we're uh, we're done. Okay. Uh, how much did I spend? Oh, I spent about half my money on all that. Okay. Let's see if anybody wants to trade. Great Britain, how about you? I'm looking for a technology. You have all kinds of technology. So how about... Uh, Uh, darn, I forgot what technologies I have. I mean, those are, are what I'm, I'm researching public schooling. I remember that. I thought I had division of labor. I thought I had land drainage. In fact, I thought I had all of those. What have I, oh, I have all the own to, uh, to, uh, research from. Okay, I haven't done, I have the National Debt and Classical Economics. I have the next two. This military advancements I don't have, and naval advancements, which I don't have and don't need. And some of the next level economic things. All right, well, let's try that again. Why are you offering me things I already have? And why aren't you offering me anything I don't have? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wait. Here, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm here looking at my Technologies, thinking that that's what they're offering me. Okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I want logistics and I want steam engine. I want them both. But give me logistics. I'll give you conscription and national debt. And money, because everybody likes money. Give me logistics. Well, that all went very well, sir. And now my clear to wait. Okay. I guess I got it. Good, good. Let's see. Uh, anybody else I'm allied with? The Russians. Do they have anything? Technology. Uh, they got Army Corps organization about uh, logistics and national debt and money, of course. And so our business, yay! Actually getting these things researched. And the Ottomans are apparently very friendly, although my experience in this game is that they don't like to give up any technology at all, ever. And then I'll give them money. Oh, well, damn. I gave them too much. <laughs> Nutty. Uh, how about this is working out great, so how about Prussia? Uh, they have the metric system. Metric system is good. I'll give them the logistics and land range and some money. I don't think I, in any game ever, I don't think I've gotten four technologies through trading in one turn. That is impressive. Impressive. Okay. 
mass mobilization. I can try to research an oleum, but I'm going to lose it, so I don't don't need to bother. Uh, this is for ships, right? Stock exchange in 13 turns. Sure. Oleon, you can go ahead and build me something. I'm not even going to try to research. How about... Uh, there we go. You can get... If I, if, if I hold you for 15 turns... <laughs> <laughs> then you can build that for me. All right. Wow. Okay. Impressive. Okay. And all these minor countries. How are we doing there? Oh, I have uh, trading opportunities now that I now that I own Paris. Let's start trading. Everybody wants to trade. That's great. I'm not sure what all that does for me, but it makes me feel good. Okay. And I would have thought that uh, Northern Italy would be much more hateful. What about Switzerland? They're friendly. And they're trading with me. I know they're trading with the French, too. Or no, they're not. They stopped trading with the French. Interesting. I thought they'd gone back to doing that. Jerks. Um, let's see. Uh, the Hess love me, but the Vians hate me. They're fine with me. Okay. I'm at war with them, and they hate me. Okay. I wanted to make that clear. All right. Right. Do I have any other armies to move? I don't remember. I think I've fooled around over here long enough. Got that going. I remember that. Uh, Who's this? I only have one dude there. I only have one dude there. I do have this army down. Or, quote, army of raw recruits and people who barely ever held a musket before. They're down there, ready to be slain, ready to be taken off my books. Uh, let's see, I believe all these places are... Re oh, you're not recruiting something. What's up with that? You should be recruiting something. Uh... How about some terrible cavalry? No, oh, that's okay. More line infantry, because you can never have enough. They're building. Vienna is building, right? Vienna is building all kinds of stuff. I believe this place is too. So is this place. Indeed. How about uh, Prague? I have crappy infantry. All right. Crappy cavalry. Decent light infantry. They can't build. I'm not building there. They can't build. That's different from the vanilla game in that, uh, uh, These satellite cities that you conquer don't necessarily get to build. Yeah. Did I want to build? Can I even? 
even think about, yeah, I can build another trade ship. Because, why not? I managed to not spend all of the money in one turn. Quite. Didn't quite spend all the money in one turn. All right, I'm not going to build more ships because that is silly. That is silly. Most silly. This army over here is excellent. Four guns. Tons of grenadiers. They don't have the cavalry, but there's a bunch of cavalry right there. So, uh, we'll be, uh, sorting that out. I could, uh, could, uh, throw some of these guys back up here. And, uh, trade for some cavalry. The Hussars. There we go. So they got heavy cavalry and light cavalry. Okay. So that unit is ready to move. Or whatever they're going to do. Alright. Well, here we go. Let's see what the French do. Yeah. They're going to demand a Munich surrender. To which I'm going to say no. You must... You must break me and my... <laughs> citizen militias. Let's see. Yeah, they are kind of torn up, aren't they? Look at their armies. They're about the... Uh, well, some of them, some of the... Frankly, some of their weaker units are are fuller up. But, uh, yeah, about half strength on their infantry. They got a bunch of guns, but I'm going to be in the city, assuming that they actually let me defend the city and don't stick me out in the wilderness someplace. Some of their cavalry are pretty much full strength, and some of it has been halved. Which marshal is this? Oh, Marshal A, that's right. Okay. Pierre. I could call him Pierre, but... Rudolf Pappenhagen, a colonel of some regiment someplace, is going to... Uh, firmly defend <laughs> against this army of French. We do have, oh, a morale of 10 on all those guys. And even my, my actual unit that actually got built at some time or another has a 10 morale. That is perfect. So here we go. Very exciting. Still, I'm going to... I'm going to lose Munich, but I'm going to charge you an arm and a leg for it. I'm going to route some of your guys. You're going to have to deal with that. When a real army comes along, you're not going to have a lot of strength. Of course, I'm I'm positioned well ahead of the uh, of the actual city that I want to defend because it's just uh, uh. all right. Kind of make them come all the way to me. And then I'm going to stick all my guys in buildings as much as I can. Alright. 
you back to this little cottage back here you here let's see what else do we have you here and you there's another cottage there it is you there and everybody else I could be somebody up here just just to mess with them I and mean, they're gonna die anyways and these guys will come back here all right and there we go A what? Is that a big old howitzer? Come on. I haven't killed anybody yet. Oh. Need you to hurry up and get into that building. Thank you. All the buildings are filled. And they're hitting me already. It's only 27 guys. But it's good enough to route my boys. But and there they go. I'm glad you guys got in there. They're shooting it with a cannon. Oh, well, somebody routed. <laughs> okay. Oh, people are routing. Well done. You lost 20 guys and routed. Didn't know you guys had this kind of, this kind of cavalry, actually. Kind of thought you guys were harder up than this. I don't know. Ah, oh, they routed too. Lost twenty, lost oh, seven guys and routed. <laughs> They're charging down my fleeing troops. I'm glad I got into buildings. Well, these cavalry would. If I stood in line or something, all well, these cavalry would have destroyed me by now, and I began when this <laughs> this particular scenario would be ending. I still own all the buildings. That means your beat up infantry are going to have to push me out of those buildings because I've made your cavalry worthless. Feel good about that. And, yeah. Now well, they've taken some lumps, small though they are. Taking their cavalry out of the game. That's good. As their infantry are beat up. Alright. 
they've for some reason stopped shooting their cannons at that building, which is good. Are they shooting at another building? I don't think so. Nope. Okay. Alright, so now all those cavalry no longer have a job. Their job now will be to kill my units as they are one by one pushed out of these buildings. Which will happen probably. I mean, it's not a lot of infantry, but it's probably enough. I like it when they keep circulating their cavalry around my city, around these buildings, so that I can shoot at their guys that can't do anything. Yeah, like right here, I just killed two of those guys. Because they're hanging out <laughs> in the range of my guns. And in the range of their own artillery fire. So we do have some uh, interesting mentality here. I'm going to speed it up, because why not? Do, do, do. Oh, and uh, is this the... No, 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 not quite. Uh, not quite going to push these guys out. Are they are going to shoot at them. And let me shoot back. Yeah. You're going to have to lose guys trying to push me out of a building. Like this. Right here. I'm going to lose that. That guy's going to get pushed out. And there he goes. And then he's going to get run down by cavalry. Over here. Over here. Is that going to happen? Oh, another routed unit. Aww. Aww. Oh, going after my leader, my colonel. And he's going to push him out too. Mm hmm. I still got this guy way up here that they haven't dealt with. I've shot at his building. They're probably going to try to destroy the building. All right. I don't know why this fight is stalled. It's weird. Yeah, those guys have lost 57 guys. Mm -hmm. And this fight's still going. Oh. oh, they left. Interesting. They had enough of that, trying to push us out of there. And just up and left. That's interesting. Where are you going? There's nobody over here. <laughs> I still occupy four buildings. Uh, I'm a third of the way through the adventure. If something happens and they fail to take Munich, then they've taken on all this damage and still won't and won't be able to heal from it. Oops. Somebody routed. Who routed? Who routed? One, two. Oh, that that guy. Oh man. 
he got routed by gunfire, although he reduced that guy to below 50%. That guy's not going to rally, probably. Come, oh, I routed another. Uh, these units are getting shot up. General A, Pierre, what are you going to do? This this little group of citizen militia was barely knowing how to use their guns. Routing your guys. All right. I have two buildings left. Two buildings left. They're going to take them. Unless they just decide not to. But they're, they're, they're hurting. Uh, damn it. They destroyed that building. And the unit that was in it is getting run over by cowboy. That's great. Oh, no, that cavalry unit got was beat up too. Good, good. So I'm down to one. Just down to one building. And they're going to run their cavalry around it so that I can shoot at them for a while. Okay. I approve of your tactic. Perhaps it does put a lot of pressure on my boys. But I don't... Oh, well, somebody jumped in there to fight. But there, uh, uh, and Then I remember how crap my units are. And... That, or no matter who goes in there, is probably going to beat us. If they have enough guys. <laughs> nope. And that, as I say, is that. Close defeat. That means I inflicted some casualties. What kind of casualties? He went in with 1,100 guys. And he lost. Oh, that hurts. He's almost at 50%. That hurts. 600 guys spread across a bunch of tiny units. Diplomacy. War declared. This nation has declared war on me. Prussia? Why? Why am I too big now? Too, too much going on? Too powerful? Very disappointing. More disappointing in that my allies didn't join me, except for Wartenberg. Okay, I didn't know. Oh wait, no, I, yeah, that's that's Russia. I don't know why we stopped being allies. Oh, because he had to break alliance with me because he was allied with Prussia, and then he realized we we allied with me. 
after the fact. Aw, oh, an army was destroyed. And letters, letters of demands. Yeah, uh, you guys can get bent in France. How about that? Bunch of cavalry in Austria. And infantry in Tyro. Oh, those guys got built. That's nice. And that other university got built. That's good. Okay, well, this is interesting. There used to be a Russian army here. Oh, I see. When the Russian army, when the Russians broke alliance with me, they, all their troops were removed from my territory. And even though we've rebuilt the alliance, those troops are no longer there. Ah, I gotcha. There's a bunch of jerks. Right there. Yeah, that's a pretty full army, but it's just a tattered mess. Fortunately, right now, the only army I have that isn't a tattered mass is right here. Although I'm building many, many more armies. All right, let's do this one thing at a time. This army is great. These cavalry are terrible. They will come to Paris. I need you to run the defense of Paris um, for the future. And good. Those military buildings are gone. All right. You come here. You uh, well, just leave the town for a second. There we go. I think those guys will heal better there in Reem. Uh, okay. This army here. Which way should it go? I think we're going backwards now. At least that army. I need to... Apparently I need to go take Munich. Go take Hold Strasbourg. All right. Uh, I'll stay there for another couple turns. Just for kicks. I can build all these things in, in France because they're under my responsibility, but not gonna do it. That's a, that's a very good army. It's a little short of troops, but not for long. Uh, 
don't think I didn't notice that you're now at war. No, you're still at peace with me. Good. For now. Freaking Prussia. I don't know what they're thinking. Lots and lots of line infantry. Uh, I still don't. I only built. Well, I don't have a lot of good, of quality cavalry. I have a fair amount of terrible cavalry to build. All right. Uh, are there any good troops over here I can build? Those guys are not bad. 25 morale. I have the money is the point. All right. I've built a bunch of stuff. Now this unit should go up there and attack that unit. I should uh, they're a bunch of worthless troops. They can sit back here and guard and defend that city, which is probably never going to be attacked because this is actually their target. But yeah, it would be fun <laughs> to use my worthless troops. See, how's he going to defend? He's got two guns. I mean, they may do something, but he's got five, five troops that have to drive out six other troops. And their morale is better, but they, and they have the one cavalry unit. And I don't think any of my guys can form square. So okay, I should uh, be at a severe disadvantage. So let's see what happens. He has quality, more, better quality troops. He has cavalry. He has a leader, and he can form square. Not that that matters, but this is designed to just wear his army down so that he cannot take even Innsbruck. Now, can these guys form square? They can form square? I thought they, I didn't think they could. Oh, good. Well, then, uh, this is very different. Um, is there anywhere, anywhere here that's worth fighting for? There's more woods over there. But... He's probably going to be smart enough to make me come and attack him. That's not necessarily true, but often in the, if the AI recognizes that his army is superior, then maybe they'll come to me instead of making me go to them. That's where they are. It kind of looks like they're coming. If that's the case... Mm -hmm. 
Let's see if it's true that they're coming. Maybe not. So, oh. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, they're really slow, too. That's great. Really big and really slow. Alright, well, it doesn't look like they're coming. Oh, well, you're not going to get away without a fight. Oh, they're coming. Sorry. So sorry. I didn't recognize the fact that you're making, that you're making a mistake. Could be that he's just sacrificing him. It'll slow me down. That's possible. killed 43 of them and they're concerned because of casualties and for being flanked surely oops what the heck happened there I haven't quite gotten used to this mouse location to try to save on all the noise I was causing very tired, concerned, and they're turning red. I'll send that unit over there to <laughs> Oh Splick. Get that stuff out of here. All right. And ammunition. Eh. Yep. Well, below fifty percent. So you're gonna let me just, you're gonna let me beat up on your guys? Is that what you're gonna do? You're gonna let me shoot your guys? Sure you don't wanna send your cavalry over here? Winded. Active, active, winded. And their guns haven't shown up yet. There's a gun. It's not in combat yet. Interesting. 
Oh, let's set up on this side then. There are guns over there, let's go over here. Huh. Alright, not unless their whole army is over there, that's possible. Alright. We're getting closer. Here's a cavalry unit. There you go. Rallied <clears throat> down thirty three troopers. I didn't think these guys could form square, so I'm happy about that. What? Interesting. Shoot us not out of that guy. There you go. Oops. Yeah, I know you're routed, but oops. Got rid of that cavalry unit, got rid of a couple of infantry units. And their cannon has not been shooting at me for some reason. All right. Well, isn't this special? I've taken your ramparts. Although, you didn't feel the need to use them anyways. <clears throat> Alright, we are halfway out of time. Appreciate you standing there and letting me shoot at you. With all my guys. Appreciate you not even shooting back. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, sometimes just doesn't know what to do when it totally out outmatches its opponent.
They're never even going to be able to hit any of those people, are they? And there they go. All right. Oh, now you're getting flanked by your own guys. Well, General, it seems that you're uh, forgetting to use your troops. So I'm going to have to call you not much of a not much of a general. Northern Europeans or northern northern Italian troops haven't seen much action, apparently. At this rate, I'm not going to run out of ammunition before I've routed all your guys. I'm going to hit you eventually, too. This is very bizarre. And there goes our leader. And here they come. Well, I appreciate you letting us shoot at you for all that time. And now we're getting, now we're getting routed. All right, I'm gonna slow her down now. It's getting confusing. They killed my general. Destroy that gun. Oh, you guys rallied. How about that? Oh, new routed. What a jerk. Oh, I can't do it. I don't know why that unit stopped, for, stopped shooting. Charge those guys. Please? Poke them. Poke them with their sticks. Got them. You routed them, boys. Now shoot them.
ripping a new hole in their units. The stupidest cannon and crew of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Northern Italian six pounder. See if my guys are out. <sighs> You're the worst. Just hit the gun from behind. <laughs> They're not. not they're not even shooting. Just shoot at them. <laughs> just poke them with your sticks. Please, just poke them with your sticks. <laughs> Stand right next to them. And still miss them. <laughs> All right, it's going to follow you guys. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. <sighs> You can do it. Be still my heart. He's doing it. He did it. Have we routed? No, we haven't quite routed their army because one of their infantry units is chasing one of my units off the board. And it's because I won't be able to reach him by the time I run out of time. There is a really no point in even trying. Although, there is that guy. There is this guy right here. Hurry up, guys. Don't need to wait for you. You are insignificant. Insignificantly, insignificantly putting a total hammer down on that northern, northern Italian troop. The most embarrassing display for a bunch of worthless crudes just totally massacre. Right. Who's this guy? Well, where'd he come from? I appreciate you not 
moving to intercept us or anything. I'm about to run out of time, but I'm still going to sh just freaking destroy that army, even if officially I lose. I did. Officially I lost. And I've made it completely impossible for that unit to take Innsbruck, so... Uh, <laughs> thanks? stacked and ridiculously powerful unit is either going to move against Napoleon what side of the river is Napoleon on he's on this side which means he'd have to go all the way back here and then forward to cross So if I move this guy here, Napoleon can come right up and attack me on the bridge. Me and my four guns. The only other possibility is that this army here would come up and attack me. But uh, it's only half an army. And that's a full full army led by Napoleon. I don't think Napoleon would pass up that opportunity in this game. Alright. Yes. So I can build more guys in Innsbruck. Theoretically. Alright, that's all I can build there. Actual troops. But what the heck? I have money. Not a lot left because I spent so much, but. Alright. <laughs> Hit. So, a couple fights with some truly insignificant troops that ravaged great holes in enemy armies. I like that. So this army, while it does stay in Bavaria, is healing. Uh, and they're going to be experienced. And if I continue to let them heal, they will, uh, they will be a real problem. I do have uh, my boy my boy, Mac, my most experienced general at least. Let's take a look at Mac. Oh, he actually doesn't, I mean, he's been in a lot of fights, but I would have thought he would have had more going on on his CV there. But he's good enough to beat this army as it is right now. The only question is, uh, is this army going to stay put? I am not optimistic. All right. Well, that is one shot up unit there that you can't, that I can't see. Uh, I do have a spy here and I have a spy outside of Paris. I think I need to leave those there for now. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, call it there for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, shenanigan, this turn of shenanigans and spending money. Uh, this is Jomo Rising signing off.